hello guys and welcome to the video today i'm going to be looking at defense defect taxes this is the other component a major component of the tax expense i've already dealt with income tax expense on the first part you can hit the link above to view that video so in this hypothetical example we're going to look at uh, the first type of defect tax which is our defect tax liability now there are two instances which can give rise to a DTEX liability. The first one is if the carrying amount of an asset is greater than the tax base, it will result in a taxable profit in the future. Uh, this is because the amount deductible in the future for tax purposes is smaller than the amount which we will deduct for accounting purposes in the future. Therefore, the taxable profit will be greater than the accounting profit. Now, in this example here, we have a manufacturing plant at a cost of 120,000 bought in the current year so the differences between the carrying amount and the tax base is recognized in the temporal difference now carrying amount is for accounting purposes while the tax base is for accounting for this i assets or liabilities in the financial statements for tax purposes now we have a depreciation of 24,000 and um, tax allowance of 40,000. At the end of the year, we have a carrying amount of 96,000 and a tax base of 80,000. Our temporal difference is 16,000. Now, it is clear that a provision has to be made in the current year for the tax payable in the future because we have a liability. So now, in the last example, I mentioned that we're going to use a rate of 28% a tax rate of 28%. So 28% of 16,000 is going to give us 4,480. We're going to defer, we're going to debit that to the tax exp expense and we're also going to credit that to the deferred tax liability on the same amount. This is so that we can make a provision for the tax that is payable in the future. The other type of Deferred tax is a deferred tax asset. Now, this one arises when the carrying amount of an asset is less than the tax base or when the carrying amount of a liability is greater than the tax base. So, in this example, I'm showing you an example where the carrying amount of an asset is actually less. Is actually is the, the carrying amount of a liability is actually more than the tax base of the liability. It's going to result in a deferred tax in a deferred tax a liability so now for this one so our carrying amount for this income which has been received in advance of uh, 50,000 and uh, the tax base is uh, nil so our temporal difference is 50,000 now you might be asking yourself why we have a tax base of nearly the result is i mean the reason is that the tax base is equal to the carrying amount less the amount of revenue that will not be taxed in the future so twenty thousand minus twenty thousand actually does give us i mean sorry fifty thousand five thousand minus five thousand will actually give us uh, a zero year right so that means our carrying amount of the liability is greater than the tax base income received in advance is a liability this is not something that we recognize in the tax in the profit or loss statement right we recognize it on the liability side of the financial position statement so as a result of the deposit received in advance the carrying amount of the liability is greater than the tax base of the liability this will result uh, will result uh, in an, in amounts which are deductible in the future for tax purposes. So we make this provision by debiting our tax asset by 14,000 and def and also creating our deferred tax expense by 14,000. This is actually 28% of this amount here so that you don't get confused. So guys, as far as deferred taxes is concerned, this is one of the most important things you can get on deferred taxes. Uh, unfortunately we've come to the end of the video if you are new to this channel guys please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content and if you like the video give it a thumbs up you can suggest any videos that you want me to do just hit me up on the comment section have a nice day